Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to discuss a usual question asked for examination. The statement is, the cardiac pain due to angina usually referred on to the inner aspects of arm and forearm. What is the anatomical basis or anatomical reason? So here in this picture, you can see the cardiac pain normally felt on the medial side of the upper extremity and also to the neck or jaw. What is the anatomical reason? Come, let us see. You know the sensory supply of the heart is by T1, T2, T3 and T4. That means upper four thoracic spinal nerves. And we know that the T1 spinal nerve contributes in the formation of brachial plexus. So, we are seeing the brachial plexus. You know, brachial plexus is formed by C5, C6, C7, C8 and T1. And T1 contributes in the formation of brachial plexus. Okay. So, here in this diagram, you can see two branches of the medial cord. Medial cord has got five branches. Okay. So, here two branches, you can see medial cutaneous nerve of arm and medial cutaneous nerve of forearm. You know, medial cutaneous nerve of arm supplies the medial side of arm and medial cutaneous nerve of forearm supplies the medial side of forearm, forearm, okay. That means the T1 spinal nerve, okay, it supplies the medial aspect of the arm and forearm, okay. Then what about T2? So, here in this picture, you are seeing the second intercostal nerve. Second intercostal nerve T2. What is the name of the second intercostal nerve? That is known as the intercostal brachial nerve. Intercostal brachial nerve. This intercostal brachial nerve supplies the second intercostal space. And after supplying the second intercostal space, then it comes out of the second intercostal space passes through the floor of the axilla, passes through the floor of the axilla and supplies the medial aspect of arm, medial aspect of arm. That is the intercostal brachial nerve, that is a T2 nerve, okay. We even supplies the medial aspect of arm and forearm. So, here T2, that is the intercostal brachial nerve also supplies the medial aspect of the arm. Precordium is supplied by T2, T3 and T4. Okay. So, here T1 supplies or T1 forms the medial cutaneous nerve of arm and medial cutaneous nerve of forearm. T2 is the intercostal brachial nerve and the precordium is supplied by T2 and T3. Now, let us summarize. So, first point what you have to write is Heart is supplied by the T1 to T4 spinal nerves. Skin over the precordium is supplied by T2, T3 and T4. T1 forms the part of brachial plexus. There is a medial cord from where we have the medial cutaneous nerve of arm, medial cutaneous nerve of forearm. Then we have the T2 that is the intercostal brachial nerve also supplies the medial aspect of the arm, medial aspect of the arm. Now look at this diagram. So you are seeing the intercostal brachial nerve, the area supplied by the T2. Okay. Then we have the medial cutaneous nerve of arm. Then this is the supplied by the medial cutaneous nerve of forearm. Okay. And the precordium, I told you that particular the area where the heart overlies that is supplied by T2, T3, and T4. Now let us see what is left arm myth. Okay. So we were discussing the anatomical basis of the spread of cardiac pain onto the left arm, medial aspect of the left arm and forearm. Okay. So, this is known as a left arm myth. Why it is called left arm myth? Okay. The reason is normally the cardiac lesions, usually the cardiac lesions, cardiac lesions affects the left part of the heart, left side, left aspect of the heart. Okay, and if the lesion on the right aspect, right aspect of the heart, 
so this pain may felt on the medial aspect of the right upper extremity right arm and forearm okay it is not always the uh, uh, cardiac pain due to angina felt on the left arm that is why this condition is known as the left arm myth okay some authorities also say that there are more sensory neurons enters the spinal cord from the left part of the heart okay that might be the reason why uh, normally the uh, cardiac pain due to angina or mi felt usually felt on the left arm and forearm sometimes the patient may feel pain to the neck or jaw what is the reason for that one so it is say, it says that the embryonic heart embryonic heart lies in the neck embryonic heart is located in the neck okay after that the heart descend to the thoracic cavity okay that might be the reason why the pain radiate to the neck or jaw hope you understood if you find the video useful gives a thumbs up and if you are first time in this channel please subscribe and share it with your friends thank you